Hey there, it's Smalley from Helicopter Showdown with a quick Ableton tip that will help take your ARPs to the next level. I wrote this simple chord progression in F minor, or 4A for your mixed in key Camelot wheel heads. Uh, I made a super simple patch in Serum based on a sine wave. Uh, I made an LFO on LFO 5. It's like a step sequence that hits the drive amount on the distortion effect. And I added a little bit of quarter note delay for flavor. I think this lends itself to being hit with an arpeggiator, so let's add an arp. Oh, I like pinky up down for this. That's cool. Well, okay, so now I want to layer a few more things onto here, and let's be crazy and have it all hit this one synth. Let's group this arpeggiator. Let's go to the chain list and let's make a new chain. Let's put a pitch on there and let's set it to basically just repeat the root note of what we're playing here. Let's listen to that by itself. Yeah. So let's call this root repeater. We'll call that first one just the R. All right, and now let's get even crazier. Let's uh, duplicate this and make it be like a power chord on guitar. Call that fifth repeater. So here's the everything together on just this one synth. Now this is pretty cool here, but I'd like to edit a few of the notes on the piano roll. These notes are all coming out of these Ableton MIDI effects, uh, so I, it would be great if there was a feature like right-click this MIDI effect and write to the MIDI track, but that doesn't exist. So I came up with this workaround. Create a new MIDI track, set the input to be the ARP, record enable it, and press record. Look at my MIDI notes. Hitting the sequencer here, this is great. It's kind of taking forever. So a little pro tip, let's undo that. You set this to 999, it'll still go right on time. Very good. Let's put that back to 145. Uh, let's copy this serum to this track and mute this track for now. Sounds exactly the same, but I have these uh, mini notes that I can edit here. So there we took the MIDI straight out of these MIDI utilities, all the output, uh, and we routed it to this track, and we were able to edit some stuff based on what those arpeggiators made, which was pretty cool. Uh, Could have written this, you know, if you know music theory, which it's always great to know music theory, but you can also come up with some really cool stuff just by using MIDI utilities. So if you want to have a look at what you're doing, uh, what your arpeggiators and other MIDI effects are doing, this is a great way to take a look at all those. And uh, if you wanted to expand on this, <clears throat> let's just mute this, uh, reopen this. You could make three tracks if you wanted to and set them all to be input from the ARP, but then take, you know, from here, let's go just the ARP post mixer. From here, let's go fifth repeater post mixer. And from here, let's go uh, root repeater post mixer. Let's record enable all these. And uh, <laughs> let's do that trick again. And we'll record to these tracks. That kind of sounds funny. Let's put it back to where we were. I can't remember if it was at 140, 145. Doesn't matter. But uh, let's get that serum back on everything. Now you've got three serum instruments all isolated here. Uh, this kind of seems like one instrument to me, so I'll just paste it here. Why not do this? Now, and you know what? Why don't we use 
use some glide on this type top thing. That might be fun. Uh, I didn't get to keep my top notes, but I'm probably just copy them from here to be honest. So there you have it. That's another quick tip to help elevate your productions. I hope you enjoyed this video as I will be creating a few more based on some techniques that I think are efficient and effective in the studio. So be sure to subscribe below and stay posted on some new production tips. Thanks for watching. Good luck in the studio. Follow my band Helicopter Showdown and our label Anamnesis and stay excellent.